So in talking a little bit of marketing, yeah, talking about Google, talking about YouTube, um, we're recording, right, Eric? Okay, cool. The mics are on. Cool. All right. So actually, that's a good thing. I want this recording. I want the mics to be on. And the reason why I do is because I think it's really important for actually people that don't know you to see you. Because yeah, for those of you that don't know, Stipe is our marketing coordinator. Um, he does all of the marketing for us on the Sack and Stone team. And I think a really important topic because Stipe and I are going to be talking about um, how to do how to advance our marketing for our sellers a little bit because a lot of the articles that we've been reading, um, you believe it or not, are showing not necessarily Instagram or Facebook attention uh, grabbing the most attention, but it's actually YouTube. Yeah. So with YouTube, I mean, here's the stats right here. With YouTube grabbing 75% of the attention share online, mm -hmm. for our sellers, can their homes be found on YouTube? Yeah. We post all of our property videos on Facebook, on YouTube. Those get populated onto Z the Zillows and Redfins and all those websites. And if we get something special for certain properties, we'd, we'll do Matterport video tours. Those will also get put up there. Okay. Yeah. And for, the, for those that are watching that might not know, but YouTube is owned by Google. Yes. And in that same article that we were reading, it said that four out of five home buyers are actually searching Google um, at some point during their home search. Yeah. So I'm assuming if we're on YouTube for our clients, like we're on Google as well. Exactly. So one thing we need to keep in mind is we all know that uh, Google is the, the most popular search engine in the entire world by far. Right. And second place, not far behind, is YouTube. And they're both owned by the same company. So they're also both linked. So when you're searching something on Google, if you, there's little tabs in the side, you can go search the uh, images and videos. When you click the videos, it links everything to, that's on YouTube. Yeah. So those two search engines own all like 95% of the search results online. Okay, well that's important to know. I mean, yeah. here, here are the stats for the attention share, okay? So yeah. YouTube, as we said, was at 75%. Okay. Facebook's at 64. So we're found, like, our clients can find us on Facebook, right? Yes. Okay. After Facebook, it come, is Netflix, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. So I don't think there's an opportunity for us to be shown on Netflix. Well, maybe we yet. could do a Netflix original one. Netflix, yes. Sack and Stone team yeah. on Netflix. <laughs> we should hit up a producer about that. That's not a bad idea. That would be cool. <laughs> Million dollar listing, Orange County style. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Amazon, 27%. So it's probably Prime. Yeah. And then Instagram, believe it or not, I mean, with a billion active users on Instagram, it comes in at 25%. And actually an interesting thing about Instagram, they've been really pushing Instagram TV a lot, and it's been kind of fluctuating in the social media space. You know, they're really pushing, everyone was saying, all the pros, experts out there were saying, this is the best platform to use. And then all of a sudden it tails out. And, and then it's now it's on back on the rise. They're back pushing it. And the couple of new th changes they've made is, they brought landscape video in. So now, before you can upload anything that was landscape, and those, if those of you that don't know, this video is being shot in landscape. It's right. the wide, wide screen, what you're looking at your TV. Originally, it was all portrait. So if you shot something in landscape, you couldn't upload it to Instagram. Now they've changed that, but they've also added a couple new developer changes that these developers have requested to make it a lot easier for people. They've like changed the maximum length, they've changed a couple of different things, and also how it's viewed, because they want it to be for, uh, the front, uh, front and center of their platform. Well, before, when we would post a video on Instagram, if it was a minute, or longer, or longer than a minute, I guess. Yeah. It wouldn't even post on our feed, yeah. right? But now it, with IGTV, that changes. So exactly. we can have a video that's what, 15 minutes long or something uh, like It that, used or? to be 10, but they just changed it a few days ago to 15. Okay, so it's up to 15. Exactly. Okay. So yeah, so now it gives us a lot, a lot of flexibility to post a video like this on Instagram where you know we're shooting the, the opposite direction that you're normally allowed to. Yeah. It's going to be longer than a minute, uh -huh. and we can still go on Instagram. Exactly. But it's still only capturing 25% of the share. So at least we're doing everything we can. Yeah. I, if you look at the top five, YouTube, Facebook, Netflix, Amazon, Instagram, we're going to be on YouTube. Our yeah. clients' homes are going to be on YouTube. Facebook, we're going to be on Facebook. Our clients' homes are going to be on Facebook. Instagram, we're going to be on Instagram. We're, we're going to capture three out of the five, at least the ones that we can. Well, and, and what we're talking is only video. That's but only video. We're also doing photos. So we can, we'll take our professionally done photos, our professionally staged homes and everything, and we'll post those across all the channels. So not only the ones you mentioned, 
Facebook, Google, mm. Instagram, but we'll also put that on Twitter. Now we're really st starting to ramp up our Twitter. Also just today we signed up for a Pinterest account. So now we're gonna start posting that on Pinterest. So it, using all those channels, we're hopefully gonna target almost every single person that's out there using a computer. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome and then everything is created for the phone because most now every year it's increasing for phone engagement versus yeah. computer. More people, like 90% of users are going on the phone. Mostly. Exactly. Okay. It has to be optimized for the phone. I think that's really important because the more that we can expose our home and be out there and more eyeballs on our content, it's to the benefit of our clients as well. So exactly. I think that's really important. Exactly. Oh. We're just maximizing our exposure and that's what marketing is. Yeah. And that's uh, what, what are the two keys for selling a home? Mm -hmm. well, why doesn't a home sell? Where are the two? Th you, I remember you told me like the first day I started. Price and exposure. Guys. Price and exposure. And we're doing everything we can to maximize our exposure. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Good tip. Okay. Well, sticking with the video theme. Yeah. Um, the preferences when people watch video. Uh huh. It. I don't know if you know these stats yet. It's kind of interesting. Uh, Seventy-five percent want funny. Yeah. They want the videos to be funny. Mm -hmm. So this video, sorry, it's not funny. So we're <laughs> not attracting that audience right now. Yes. Um, number two came in at entertaining. Mm -hmm. I, hopefully we're being entertaining. I mean, it was still probably not the most entertaining <laughs> video. I'm sorry, but if my mom's watching, she'll probably see, like Well, we'll get a like disagree. from her for sure. Oh, she's oh, she's the first, one fan. first to like. Thanks, yeah. mom. <laughs> um, but 53 came in at informative. So I'm hoping at least right now we're being informative yeah uh, so does that mean that we might need to restructure how we shoot our videos moving forward like do we need to air more on the funny side do we need to try not that we're naturally funny and we might have to work really hard at yeah, it yeah. Um, but do we need to start putting out some funnier content I think we should I think we can I mean it, we still have to be professional at the same time right we can't be sloppy you know there's a fine line between funny and sloppy but uh, I, we could do some, we could do funny content. I mean, it's up, you guys Funny all, with a purpose, everyone, funny with the con, yeah. yeah. We all have different personalities. And I honestly, I think you guys are funny just in your own ways. I mean, Scott's pretty <laughs> funny, but he, he doesn't know he's being funny. I mean, some of the, so. actually, it, there's a lot to it because some of the best, um, or I guess say the most views that we receive on our video are the blooper reels too, right? Like yeah. everybody loves the blooper reels and it's because it's funny. Well, and just to let you guys know out there, uh, <laughs> our blooper, like you see our videos and they're these guys are really great on camera, but sometimes we do like 15 or 20 takes to get it right. And <laughs> not those, for me, you know. Not, not <laughs> lane will, five. They, they call me so. one take lane. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, sometimes we get a ton of takes, and I and I if I'm going through all the videos, if I were to make a guess, I probably have a hundred and fifty blooper reels waiting to be released. See, now that's funny, <laughs> that's entertaining, and I think yes. that's engaging. Yes. But here's the thing: like a lot of realtors, and we fall into this category too in a lot of ways, is when we post our property videos, it's basically just a tour of the home. Yeah, right. So it's just, we're just. There's some music, there's some words, and you're touring the home. Do we need to think about switching up that strategy a little bit? And do we add people into the property tours now? Do we try to make it a little bit more entertaining and fun? Do we shoot it more like a lifestyle video where you hire actors? I mean, like, where do you think the direction of our property videos should go? Well, I think what we've always done different is we've just haven't done the same things as every other realtor, right. you know? Like, and I don't of want, course, we've done the and same And I want stuff. to remain different. Yeah. So, like, so with everyone kind of following us, yeah. so to speak, now how do we stay ahead of them and what can we do differently in moving forward? I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to brainstorm that, but I mean... Stay tuned be, for our future property videos because yeah. I really want to try a couple things that are going to be a little bit different. Like one thing that always sticks out to me is that one, I don't know if the public knows this, but dinosaur. like the dinosaur. Yeah. Like the, there's a guy, there's an agent out in Texas who, uh, they, it wasn't a video, but it was property photos. And in every single property photo, he was dressed up as a dinosaur in like a different thing. So like it was a photo of the bathroom and he was like, the dinosaur was taking a shower yeah. and like, or he was in the kitchen he was like cooking up some eggs or something like that yeah, so he's laying in like, bed in the bedroom. that's hilarious and yeah. the thing is like that article or those photos got like five million views and imagine if like you out there like you're looking to sell your home five million people saw your home that's there's no better exposure than that so i guess my question is the five million people that saw that home did they see that home for the right reasons you know are they are they how many exactly. of those five million eyeballs bought the home, you know, or, or wrote yeah. an offer on that house. And that, that brings us back to what you mentioned, uh, like the funny 
yeah. uh, the funny videos are number one. And I, and I, and I uh, read an article recently about like Super Bowl uh, ad, ads, you know, and they were saying that like it's a lot of these ads, they spend billions of dollars to create these ads for whatever Coors Light or Doritos or something. And they're, they're very funny and well produced and stuff, but a lot of people walk away not remembering the brand. They sure. remember the funny part of the video, but they don't remember the brand. So sure. we also have to keep in mind that we're trying to sell a house and we're trying to sell a house different and better, yeah, like yeah. our motto is, Definitely. than the other people, the other agents out there in the marketplace. But we also have to make sure that we're trying to sell and yeah. not just trying to make people laugh. Yeah. So I agree. Yeah. Aren't we lucky to have him on our team, guys? I mean, how amazing <laughs> is this? I, I'm happy that, thank you, Eric, for recording and micing us up because I'm really happy that we did this video. Yes. Um, but uh, quickly, let's just round to informative number three, inspiring number four, animated. I don't think we're going to ever do animated, but that's at 25%, it so we don't have tough. to worry about that. And live, I mean, I have no problem doing something live. Yeah. So now if you're doing something live that's entertaining and funny, and you capture a pretty wide audience there. Exactly. But yeah. Cover all your bases. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So I guess the point is, is like we're, we have these meetings and we have these conversations and I hope, and you guys got to see a little behind the look, mm -hmm. behind the scenes look at how these conversations go because even though our content's really great and we get a lot of positive feedback, we always want to be doing more. We always want to be doing something exactly. better because at the end of the day, more constant, more eyeballs on our posts more views, more engagement. Mm -hmm. It's actually not necessarily the benefit of us, but it's the benefit to the clients that hire us. Exactly. Okay. Cool. Well, All thanks right. for chatting. Thanks for thanks for <laughs> letting me talk to you while others listen in on our no conversation. Problem. All right. We're sharing our secret sauce. All right. Cut. <laughs>